The book I chose to read was The Last Child in the Woods by Richard Loeb. This is actually the second edition of the book, which was expanded on to provide more solutions and information regarding the idea of the nature deficit disorder. So this is a term that the author came up by himself after extensive research, and he makes it very clear that the term is not a medical condition, but it does describe the loss children take with decreasing emphasis on nature in their life, especially in their early childhood. A quick summary of the book, the book provides a collection of statistics, interviews, studies, testimonies from across the world and from many different universities, and they all come to the same conclusion that children are suffering due to a lack of nature in their lives. One of the studies came from Michigan State, and it talks about how they were the first to establish a horticulture therapy degree curriculum. So this kind of centers around the idea that nature can be used as medicine, which I'll go into more emphasis later. He suffered, Love discusses how children suffer from a lack of interaction with nature. Older generation had very hands-on experiences with nature, and they were able to go out and explore and discover things for themselves. Now, organized sports are supposed to be a way to get kids outside, but they aren't allowing children to appreciate nature. They're confining nature. And not only technology is inhibiting children's connection with nature, but many fears that parents have play a huge role in how they allow them to experience nature. Parents fear the wild and unknown aspects of nature, and that makes them scared to allow their children to explore it on their own. This examples could include viruses, traffic, strangers. There's many threats that are posed to children today, and it is scary, but the way children are suffering is more scary than the threats they can come into contact with. Because the relationship with nature can actually impact children's mental health. And instead of considering nature as a possible solution, like I said earlier, kids are immediately put on antidepressants. And the one of the statistics he mentions is how the rate of prescriptions for antidepressants in children has actually skyrocketed in the past couple years and there's believed to be a direct link to children not being outside and in nature enough. With no real connection to nature, children are going to have less of an appreciation for it and they're not going to want to protect it or restore it. So with all the problems in our environment that are going on, it is really important for everyone to have a deep appreciation for nature to want to save it and be better. In addition to this, physical, emotional, and spiritual health all rely on nature being a part of someone's lives, especially during childhood development. Parents in society need to reintroduce nature to their children as something to cherish and be a part of, not just stand by and watch or look at. And we need to be more eco-mindful I personally see the shift with my brother who is three years younger than me. He always has headphones in, he's always on the computer with his friends, as where I was always outside and running around the block and in the woods growing up. So it's a little weird for me to see him act like the book describes and I didn't really see it until I read it. And he also suffers from migraines, which I think could be a part of him wanting to be indoors so much. This book's ideas will stick with me when I have my own children because I now really do see the significance, whereas I always had an appreciation for nature, but now I see more of a necessity for it. I'll continue to increase nature in my own life as well, and I want to try using it as a sort of medicine when I'm stressed or anxious. As for my recommendation, it's a tough read. There were a lot of words I didn't know and I had to reread a lot of parts. But overall, I think it includes very vital information. Children will suffer severely, and so will we all if we don't start appreciating and putting emphasis on nature like older generations were able to. And I feel like this book really will have a lasting impact on me, and I hope that it does on everyone that reads it.